Court, we keep hoping for some rainfall to help with our water supply, but it doesn't look like there's much on the horizon. Not in the very near future, but we do have a better chance for widespread showers in your further extended forecast, and that right now is looking fairly promising. As far as what we're seeing for your Wednesday, it's going to be a very nice day, and it's going to be comfortable for getting outside. Mild and warm today. We do have the chance for some mountain showers throughout the day, and that ramps up at the Sierra this evening. And we also have stronger winds developing in the wake of this wet system as it passes to the east of our area tonight through most of tomorrow. Now this morning, the cloud cover that's moved in overnight and the modest north winds have kept our temperatures on the mild side. We're in the 40s to low 50s in the valley. We're in the 40s for most foothill areas and 20s to 30s in our mountain zones. Wind been less than 10 miles an hour out of the north for those sustained winds overnight, but those winds are going to pick up a little bit through the day. Looks like gusts up to around 25 miles an hour are possible by this afternoon out of the north, especially along I-5. Tonight through tomorrow, that's when the winds get much stronger. Take a look at this. I don't normally stop this map in the overnight or 5 a.m. hour time frame, but 44 mile an hour gusts projected for Redding with gusts over 30 miles an hour across the board across I-5. 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts likely in the foothills with 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts possible and those winds stay strong through tomorrow morning. That means any loose items you have outside of your home need to be either battened down or brought inside. Those winds diminish after the afternoon hours on Thursday and we're left with a mild end of the week. Today in our far northern zones closest to the Oregon border, we have some light showers that have sagged into our region. This is from low pressure tracking from the Pacific Northwest down to the southeast towards Nevada and Utah. So as this slides through, it brings that slight chance for mountain showers, but the bigger widespread impact is going to be those gusty winds developing in our region. So take a look at this, your hyperlocal futurecast showing you that system sliding by, giving us that chance for showers this evening through very early tomorrow morning. We clear out tomorrow as high pressure builds back in, keeping the storm track to the north late this week, but then this weekend the ridge breaks down and we have these wet systems that are going to move through mostly giving us showers closer to the coast through the weekend, but then more widespread showers possible Monday into Tuesday, and it looks like it's going to be mostly rain in the forecast early next week. Latest models showing upwards of a half an inch of rain possible in the valley with over an inch in many mountain areas. Snow totals, not much on the way. It looks like we might see an inch or two. This is going to be a warmer system rolling in next week, so not much in the way of snow, but the rain looks pretty decent. 50s to 60s in the northern mountains today, 40s to 50s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades, foothill areas in the 50s to 60s. And if you're in the valley today, it's lower 70s for your afternoon with partly cloudy skies in the morning and mostly sunny conditions in the afternoon hours. Stronger winds tonight through tomorrow with a little bit of a cool down tomorrow, a little warmer with lighter winds Friday and Saturday, and then more clouds Saturday into Sunday with that cool down and that chance for showers as we head through the start to middle of next week. And Kelly, another reminder, Springing forward Sunday morning. Time to set those clocks forward this weekend. Keep that in mind and plan ahead.